Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, I am Lara Lesmes. And I'm Frederick Helberg. And we are Intermediate One Tools for Architecture. Tools for Architecture explores architecture as a state of mind. The sum of architecture construction and perception equates to a conglomerate of sensorial experiences and psychological responses that forms the idea of architecture. Tools for Architecture investigates the psychological and environmental effects of architecture via large-scale prototyping and advanced virtual simulations to deliver experience-specific building systems. With an agenda focused on experience, atmosphere and aesthetics, our projects are as concerned with theory as they are with practice, and we are as fascinated by the teachings of the past as we are with the visions of the future. We are both AA graduates from 2011, and we have uh, since worked and lived in Bangkok, where we both coordinated and taught extensively at a young international uh, school called INDA. And we also started our firm called Space Popular, or SPOP. INDA, like Bangkok itself, is complex, lively, and open for change. At the school, we got a chance over the past five years to experiment with different teaching techniques, and as coordinators, we built a strong team of academics and professionals from all over the world. In Bangkok, we also funded Space Popular in 2013, which has since developed into an international practice with projects completed in both Asia and Europe. At SPOP, uh, we create virtual and physical spaces and objects at scales ranging from furniture and interiors to culture centers and pantheons and from festival stages and entire neighborhoods to virtual worlds the size of our planet. Am I aware or Sorry. when or how? Precise location. If you would like to see some of these <laughs> creations, please join us in this room at 6.30 on Monday the 10th of October for an evening lecture. <laughs> so we hope you had a chance to look through the document which out outlines the unit. Today we'll have a chance to explain uh, to you firsthand what Into One is all about. So Tools for Architecture works with building systems. This means that rather than working towards the creation of an architectural object, like a building, for a specific location on Earth, we work towards a building system that can generate a multitude of spaces. These building systems are all around us. They're in dry walls, curtain walls, false ceilings. A building system can be innovative, effective or cheap, but are often so pragmatic and boring that they are covered up or hidden. As a result, our interest and influence over them diminishes. Even buildings that have elements that express a structure and forces turns out to be nothing more than wrapping paper that hides the most marvelous and complex structures. This issue was addressed with great clarity and urgency at the 2014 Venice Biennale curated by Rem Kolhas. The ceiling used to be a decorative plane, a symbolic plane, a place invested with intense iconography. Now it has become an entire factory of equipment that enables us to exist, a space so deep that it begins to compete with the architecture. It is a domain over which architects have lost all control, a zone surrendered to other professionals. Architecture today is, a seal more, is little more than cardboard. Our influence has been reduced to a territory that is just two centimeters thick. At Inter One, we believe that what lies within the thickening fat and above the two centimeter ceilings of contemporary buildings is not a meaningless void, but a fascinating world of increasing complexity that is ultimately responsible for the qualities of space. While the resolution of buildings, air conditioning system, insulation, or digital infrastructure is usually left to consultants, not architects, Inter One looks into these lesser known realms to see how the content of the ceiling and walls impacts our reaction to a building. Just because we don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. But building systems are not something new. 
both as spatial strategies as well as structural norms, they have been around forever. And it has been during periods of parallel development between technology and aesthetics that architecture has seen its greatest evolution. In Inter 1, we will study existing conventions and launch new ones that not only answer immediate practical concerns, but also deliver a deeper connection between intent and effect, between designer, producer, and user. A building system can be used and applied in a multitude of conditions to serve a wide range of programs. This means that at Inter 1, we create architecture without program, without site, and without context. We build experiences where psychology is our site, and ideology is our context. Architecture is a mental device and filter as much as it is a protection for our fragile bodies. As the experience of space gets increasingly multidimensional and less material through virtual platforms and advanced simulations, it is becoming clear that the future role of architects will not only be to deliver matter, but to design experience and influence ideology. Augmented reality might seem clumsy and silly now, but it is only a matter of time before the virtual reality we create is perceived and valued on equal terms with our physical environment in a world where anything and anyone can be anything or anyone. This future holds unimaginable possibility for the people that creates content and therefore the experience of a hybrid reality where anything is possible. Virtual content has been created for thousands of years in the form of ornamentation, and the experience of a space has always been central to architectural design. But our hybrid present, soon to be more virtual than physical, urges us to reconsider and strengthen our role as those who can design the way we feel in and around architecture, those who can construct experiences, and those who can work with the psychology of architecture. We believe this should be our final frontier as architects, and we will look towards new methods of creating space. We propose a workflow where architecture begins from the end. First, we design the perceptual and psychological effects, and then we construct the architecture that, may, that can deliver them. The perception of space is an infinitely complex sensorial, neurological, and psychological process which cannot be recreated with absolute accuracy. But if we are to envision spatial experiences, we must use all tools available to design and represent them. Conventional representation techniques, such as drawings and models, can objectively describe the physical attributes of architecture and to some degree its atmosphere. Simulations involving moving image or real-time virtual reality allow the user to dynamically explore spaces. But in order to communicate atmospheres, they all rely on triggering memories from the observer's library of experiences, which is a subjective and unpredictable source. Wittgenstein spoke about the influence of language on thinking in ways that reflects the unit agenda. The limits of my language are the limits of my world. All I know is what I have words for. Ideas are formed in words whose meaning, even if fluctuating, is universal like a code. Words can define both material and sensorial attributes through accurate descriptions. They can take us through time and space, triggering images in our minds that, even if they might differ from one person to another, don't change the meaning of the words that describe them. Symbolism, semiotics, and meaning have been central to the creation of a space, but has seen a radical and steady decline in the past hundred years as modernism simplified and cleansed not only serious issues of hygiene and inefficiency, but also our language and ability to articulate the complex nature of architecture beyond its performance and function. Too often do we hear architects describe complex spaces as simply Pyrenesian, in lack of linguistic abilities that could lead to a deeper understanding. And too often do we hear architects describe complex surfaces as simply ornamented, missing the opportunity to read the complex, possibly meaningful stories that lies within them. We have become spatial illiterates, unable to describe the aesthetic, atmospheric and semiotic values and implications of the spaces we create which is why you get tutors reading from the screen on a presentation. <laughs> Architects could never explain space. Junk space is our punishment for their mystifications. Cole has gone so far as to blame architects' lack of language for the endless stream of thoughtless architecture that has resulted from modernization. Inter One will work towards an objective vocabulary of spatial perception to describe the unique atmospheric conditions and psychological effects of the building system it delivers. 
In their one, we'll dive into the fat of architecture in order to challenge the us and them divide between architects and building consult consultants by regaining the skill and sensibility in the handling of aesthetic, atmospheric, and semiotic devices that we once possessed. So here is a quick overview of the year of tools of architecture, which is divided into eight phases across the three terms. As previously mentioned, we'll work from inside out uh, or from the end to the beginning and start the project with scenes that express your initial or visceral sorry, intention regarding what type of spatial experience you would like to create. This will be coupled with workshops and lectures where you will learn essential image ma making techniques as well as how to analyze masterpieces from the past. The following phase will involve the crafting of the vocabulary of perception. We'll work collaboratively to construct the new code that will allow us to design and experience spaces through words. This will be followed by a period of intense drawings and digital modeling where we'll be establishing the basic geometric rules for the building system and studying precedence. The second term will begin with a design heavy focus resolving all the parts of the elements necessarily, necessary and also building the tools uh, relevant for the use of the building system. At the end of this phase, the designs will be quite advanced and ready to begin prototyping. And in the middle of term two, during the open week, we will travel to also San Francisco, a place that through high and low has created some of the most fertile grounds on the planet. The home of the psychedelic revolution, experimental spatial psychology, and the birthplace of the personal computer has led to the creation of some of the world's most experimental and successful labs for spatial psychology. So we will visit some of these labs where spatial and human interaction is at the very edge of the known. As we get back from the trip, we will dive into the prototyping phase preparing large-scale samples of architectural details of the designs. You will then also be working on manual documents that describe in great detail the possibilities and limitations of the building system in the form of drawings and animations. And finally, you will dedicate the time left in term three to envision a series of scenarios that the system can produce, as well as analyze possible atmospheric sequences of the projects. The technical studies will be an inherent part of the project from the very early stages of design. Already in term one, the projects will benefit from the advice of technical studies tutors and consultants to find relevant precedents to study and inquire into material and structural principles. During the second term, we will work together to design building systems that provide architectural solutions coherent with the visceral scenes and vocabulary. Through physical prototypes and virtual simulations, we will take the atmospheric capacity of each project and, def and refine them until they align with the intended spatial qualities and perhaps implement them in an anticipated ways. So during the year, you will be learning a wide array of digital tools. We will be offering tutorials and workshops, so no prior knowledge is required. This will be the first year for Inter1 here at DAA. Uh, we really look forward to meet the team of troopers that will join us in this journey towards the mind and the fat. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. It's been an honor. Thank you, guys.